Hey, we're Half Alive and you're watching Rock Sound. It's been delightful. Um, North America was incredible and it's very surreal to come to Europe and see places like Poland and Berlin and all the other amazing cities across the world still resonate with the message and album and it's been really, really exciting and really fun and still very surreal. One moment i noticed in paris recently was during arrow where they started singing along to like the oh the guitar line yeah the guitar yeah. line the instrumental melodies ba, 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 that was really ba. cool so that i like that too. i don't know if that happened before at least i noticed it. i had one ear out maybe i was listening a little bit closer but that was great i loved that i didn't notice that either i think the first time so cool so yeah paris is great we did a cover and loved it it is not in the set yeah i think you can find it Somewhere. And what's it called? It is. You make my dreams come true. Uh, no. No. I think it's a secret. And I oh. think, yeah. No, it's Hollow Notes. You can make. <laughs> it's Hollow Notes. You make my dreams come true. That was a fun one. We worked. We kind of put it together a bit in um, North Carolina when we were getting ready for a, um, uh, yeah, a live filming of that cover. And then we're still deciding if it would make sense in some kind of touring set situation. We haven't added it yet, but. It came out great, so we're excited for it. So we'll see. The day that we played Outside Lands, that was like our album release party, and it was the biggest set that we had played. We were playing main stage there, mm-hmm. um, which was massive, probably way too big of a stage for us. Uh, but it was really cool to see like how not only fans that have like are invested enough to come to shows, but those who aren't quite as invested, but maybe have heard of the band or... Um, are interested enough to go to the the festival set and so there's thousands and thousands of people there and it was really cool to see everyone that had heard of half alive and Mm -hmm. were watching yeah breakfast was uh, originally just going to be an a dance art video from jock collective our um, choreographers and uh creative directors and they were going to fund it all themselves and find they like the director elliot sellers he was going to work with them on doing this whole thing and then uh they submitted to get funding and they declined them and so then i was like okay but what if we actually used it for breakfast and made it into a music video and elliot loved it um and jock collective loved it as well and so uh their whole piece that they had spent so much time and effort on um, was able to be turned into a music video. Fun fact about it, they actually choreographed and filmed the whole thing in complete silence. No music at all. They crushed Just it. Silence. Just <laughs> silence. Well, we were writing the song um, in one of the cabins, the Airbnbs. We were renting in Big Bear in California, and we started writing the song then, and then that's when we, I think that whole process Josh just shared had been going through. So we called them, and we're like, hey, we have this song we think would work we could potentially think of dance when we're writing the song and just see how that is versus kind of seeing a dance fits better in the songs, which we had done in the past. So that started that process. And then, um, probably like almost a year, but it wasn't working the whole time and they were still working on their own. They'd come up with a lot of the concepts on their own show they put together. And then a bit of it came together through, um, just, them planning i guess through the with the song and that's finishing the song and for it to all make sense through that so i think that's what i understand if i'm missing details feel free to also share. the the moment in which we filmed the video was absolutely insane because oh, we yeah. were <laughs> it, we filmed the the okay, same okay. weekend as we filmed okay okay it yeah. was the same exact team and that's how we were able to uh you know film both videos within the same and get the, the same, same weekend we then left so. for london yes so right so we yeah. came back from okay okay <laughs> Uh, I've met up with Jordan and Aiden and Elliot to film one of the night sequences Mm -hmm. for breakfast and then the next day and I left halfway in the middle of that session to go to the airport to come here to come to the rock sound interview to come to the rock sound interview (laughs) yeah that was that was a wild weekend oh my gosh we are working through that currently what 2020 looks like the beginning is gonna be a restful start for us January we're taking off which feels really great for this last year we just had or feels like a year and a half even and then we'll we'll definitely start working on new music new videos work on the live show all the elements we usually focus on and figure out what new parts that we can kind of add to the story